so 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 Today, I am going to be cooking buttered garlic lemon pepper chicken. Okay, I've already washed my chicken off and uh, I'm going to dry it off. I've been drying it, but I'm drying it some more. I see some more water coming from it. And uh, it's best to do this because it helps the season stick to it and uh, it fries a lot better and bake okay so like every time i pat it off a little water come right back okay and i'm gonna mix it what i'm gonna put on my chicken is parsley flakes garlic salt onion powder paprika and lemon pepper and we're gonna use Kerrygold butter today and the organic olive oil. Okay, let me push this over to the side so I can put them in here, put my seasonings in here. And you know, I don't really, let me see, measure. But I'm gonna try to measure this for you, okay. I've got, uh, I think I'm gonna do two, and look, I've got 10 chicken uh, thighs, bone in, skin on. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of parsley. I'm trying y'all, bear with me. Uh, onion powder. Let me see, I'm gonna use this one up because there's none, nothing in this one. Okay. Okay, this is one, two tablespoons of onion powder. Okay, I'm gonna keep this one, throw this one away, and Two tablespoons, I'm gonna try two, 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 two. Two tablespoons of lemon pepper. And two tablespoons of garlic salt. Paprika. About two tablespoons. I'm gonna go with two tablespoons also. And this is a smoked paprika. Okay, I'm gonna slide this to the side. Then I'm gonna bring my chicken back. And I'm gonna mix the seasonings up real good. Really, really good. Okay. Okay, I tasted the seasoning and it wasn't salty enough. Now it's garlicky enough and peppery enough, but it's not salty enough. So I'm gonna add one tablespoon of larger seasoning salt. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna pour a little olive oil. On this chicken. 
I'm going to rub it together. And I flipped it over so the skin is down. The skin side is down. Now I'm going to season it. Then I'm going to flip it back over. Okay, now once it's flipped back over on the skin side, I'm going to season it some more. And I'm putting a generous amount of seasoning on it because the chicken is big chicken, and I just know it'll taste better with all this seasoning on it. It's not going to be too salty, because I tasted it before I put the Larry's seasoning salt in it, and it wasn't salty enough to me. Okay, now I'm going to stick it. I do want to stick it in the refrigerator for about 45 minutes and let it keep marinating. Okay, and I'll be back in 45 minutes. Okay, guys, now I am putting my carry gold butter, a stick in each pan. I'm using two frying pans today because I want to go ahead and get this done. And this is some really good butter. I um, heard somebody on YouTube using, I think it was T.Y., cooking with T.Y. and it's expensive but it's good. It's tasty. It tastes like butter. Okay, I'm going to let it melt. Okay, now I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon of minced garlic. No, a teaspoon, I'm sorry, a teaspoon of minced garlic. I'm going to stir it up in there. And I'm going to turn this one down. Okay, the other one in the back is got that little eye, so it don't need to be turned on. Okay, now I'm putting my chicken in, skin side up. And I'm gonna fry this chicken for about maybe Seven minutes on each side. And I'll be back. Okay, it's been five minutes, and I'm going to flip the chicken over on the skin side. Now, this one is cooking slow because it's got that low eye. So, five minutes, I'm flipping this one over. I may have to change eyes. It's doing pretty good. Okay, flipping that one over. Also, 
and it's smelling amazing in here. Okay, I'm going to turn this one down a little bit. And I'm going to let them cook for about maybe five to seven more minutes, okay? Okay, these here are ready, and these are still frying. I changed the eye, but still, they're still frying. I'm going to lay them in this pan, skin side up. Okay, I'm going to keep all my renderings from the um, Kerrygold butter and the chicken. I'm going to keep them because I'm going to make a roux. Let me turn it off so I won't burn it. Because that Kerrygold butter is expensive and it tastes wonderful. Let me check on these. These are not ready. I'm going to wait about two or three more minutes for those to get ready. Okay, these on this side should be ready. Skin side up. Okay, now I'm going to put, well, let me turn this off right here. Okay, yeah. We're going to put, yeah, baby, what do you want? Get out the window. Get out the window. Onion. always have an interruption. Okay, put the onion on top. And we're going to stick these in the oven with no aluminum foil on them and bake them. For about, I'd say about uh, 30 minutes or until the chicken gets done on the inside because it's not quite fully done on the inside and uh, stick them in the oven for about 30 35 minutes and I'll be right back okay I have got my butter garlic and renderings from the chicken that I fried and uh, I've got garlic in here uh, it's a little bit of everything is in here and uh, I'm fixing to make a roux I'm gonna add just a little bit of flour at a time. Butter is in here. Everything is in here. This is going to be delicious. Just keep adding the flour in. I think I got about three to four tablespoons of flour. Just keep adding the flour in and stirring. Keep stirring. Okay, once you stir for about 15 minutes, because you want to stir the flour off of the root. You don't want your root coming out tasting like flour. You're going to I add about a teaspoon of lemon juice. Then I'm gonna add about two 
two cups of chicken broth. And you're gonna stir it again, stir it some more. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down. Cause I want it to take its time. Cream. You can use half and half, heavy whipping cream. And I'm gonna keep on stirring. Okay, now I'm straining the root. I'm gonna strain it. This pan is heavy. Strain it all out. And take a little spoon and push it around. Okay, this is my roux over here. And if you're gonna have rice with this, this would be good to put uh, like gravy on for rice and uh, uh, potatoes, mashed potatoes. And I'm gonna take a little bit and put it at the bottom of this casserole dish. Now I'm gonna pull the pieces of chicken up and lay them in the pan. And there we go, we're finished. Put these onions in there. Okay guys, here's my garlic pepper, garlic butter, lemon pepper, chicken thighs. Y'all stay humble, be blessed, and have a good day. Subscribe, like, and comment to my garlic butter, lemon pepper, chicken thighs. Bye for now. It's got to be against the law to look this damn good. Cause baby, I feel real good and I wish I would It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good Everybody watch out Watch out now I'm ready for a good time And I came to groove The whole band's here and we came to move Got a fresh haircut and two new shoes We're here all night like we got nothing to lose Coming out the jacket cause we're turning up the heat I wanna see you clapping when you get up out your seat It's time to make it happen when we hit these streets I'm coming in hot and I can't be beat Watch out now